guys, it's Super Anthony here, and today I have another tutorial video for you guys, and this one is on After Effects on how to create the color swap the effect that I do on my uh, intros, where uh, like at one moment it's red, the other moment it's yellow, and the other moment it's like blue. I don't know why After Effects just crashed on me. I'm sorry about that. So now we have to wait until After Effects loads up. But yeah, that's basically what the effect is. It like um it changes colors like instantly so it's like sync to the music like the the color change is sync to the music uh it's a pretty cool effect really really easy um like to do it it's really really easy to do this okay so uh let's create a new composition right here this is just my particle file i don't even know why i opened this one up um so we have our composition right there uh let's create a new uh solid just so we have a backing um all right, so I'm also gonna put in uh, just my intro, I guess. I'm I'm just gonna. All right, so <laughs> let's do this now. Um, I'm for all my tutorial uses, I'm just gonna use my intro. Okay, let's just do that. Like for all tutorial purposes on how to sync and stuff like that, let's just use my intro. It's just the easiest way to do this, and not with someone else's intro that I have, or or like a random project file I have lying around. Okay, so back to the tutorial. Um. So since you have your project file right here, now you want to go to this big gray area, click right click, go to new, down all the way to adjustment layer. Okay, so now you have your adjustment layer, uh, and uh, now what you want to do is click on the adjustment layer, you go to your effects and presets tab, again if you don't have the effects and presets tab, you go over to window, and click on effects and presets, or click control plus 5. So down here in the effects and presets tab, there's a search option. To search for your plugins, so you search for Hue, H U E, uh, and uh, uh, in the color correction tab, it will pop up as Hue slash saturation. This is the plugin that you want to use for this whole thing. It's really easy to use, really easy to keyframe, and uh, I, I kind of like it. It's pretty cool, you know. Yep. So um, you click your adjustment layer, you drop down, drop down to effects, and then down to hue and saturation. Um, so let's uh, let's start off the hue right here in the middle. Let's 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 do the middle. Let's um uh, change our workspace down all the way to here, and uh, let's start off right here. Okay, so we have the main thing that we're actually gonna change is the channel range, and that's the thing that you're gonna uh, actually um, what do you call it uh, keyframe. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to set your first keyframe, whatever color that you want to start off as. And then click page down, which will move over one, or you can just drag the little cursor thing right here. And then now what you want to do is you want to you see this wheel right here? You turn the wheel and it creates another keyframe. Alrighty, let let me add a particle or backing. Uh let's see, let's just use this. So like you guys can actually see the colors change. Okay. Alright. So now we have some random particles. Uh let's uh See the colors changes. Yes, color changes. All right, let's put it as uh, let's do this bluish color. I don't know why my computer's so laggy. I have a couple other things working in the background. All right, so here we have our color from before. This is the color before the hue and saturation thing changes, uh, and then this is afterwards. And now you can go over to the next keyframe, whatever keyframe it is, like whatever you have the sync thing as. And uh, you click the keyframe again, so it's the same color as this one. So these two keyframes should be the same. All right. Now you click page down, and then you change it to whatever other color that you want. Let's say orange. All right. And then you keep going. You can do multiple colors. Same thing. Same keyframe. Page down, and then you go yellow. Okay. So, uh, and then go over. Let's do. Let's just do four, and then I'll render it out so you guys can see how this thing all plays out. Let's go back up. Page down, and then. Uh, green okay so now if we render this out it'll, it'll just take a while don't worry don't worry it'll just take a while I've got a couple like background stuff happening just to make the quality of this video better so I'm uh, uh it's kinda taking all my RAM use usage stuff like that so um here we are we're on the yellow step final one come on come on final final step come on come on come on come on come on okay one more keyframe there we go See, it changes colors. See, you see that? It changes colors. Look at it. It's weird. Um, I can stretch this out and uh, put it as a farther distance if I want to, just so you guys can see it. 
better. Uh, I'm doing this for you guys. Just to see, just for you guys to see it better. Uh, better visualize it. Let's um, uh, let's move this. Okay. Okay, dokie now. Come on, move. Thank you. All right. So now, gonna go through the keyframes. Come on now. Come on. You know what? I'm I'm gonna turn down the quality of this um, this composition to quarter so you guys can actually see it and render it and it renders faster when it's quarter quality. So you see it goes from blue to purple. This tutorial is basically over. If you guys want to stop watching, you guys can stop watching. Tutorial is basically over. It's just basically keyframing. Now I'm just pretty much showing you what it looks like when the keyframes are actually uh, rendered out and uh, how it swaps colors like it's like a flawless swap unless you want to actually have it smooth s smooth transition from blue to yellow to green to purple and just have like sway colors then you don't need the whole keyframe having the same keyframe or like this one and this one being the same so yeah we're we're nearing the end of the colors yep sorry about the whole slow uh, rendering so yeah there we go see swaps colors swaps colors swaps colors swaps colors swap 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 there we go you see that that's basically what this whole tutorial is about uh so yeah um like if you like this video and dislike if you dislike this video so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope this tutorial was helpful um, if you need additional help, please, 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 please leave a comment down below asking for help, asking questions, any, any sort of question. No question is too dumb. Um, so yeah. Uh, bye guys. Have a good day and, uh, remember to subscribe. Peace.